are almost to February, which marks Black History Month. And for the second year in a row, original work by college artists are honoring Black History Month, and it will be proudly displayed at Westminster Canterbury on Chesapeake Bay. Here to tell us more about it, we have Ellen Duckworth and Solomon ECKJ. Thank you both for being Thank here today. You. Let's talk about this very important event that not just helps students, but is also really valuable for the community. Tell yes. us about uh, just this whole thing. Wrap it up for us. Sure. So Westminster Canterbury, as many of you may already know, is a resort retirement community right on the Chesapeake Bay in Virginia Beach. So the conversation started uh, a couple of years ago just about what was going on in the country and how could we as a community uh, do more to show our support for bringing more people in instead of being so divided. So we came up with the idea of let's focus on our young people because we have a lot of professors, educators, business people that are residents at Westminster. So between Solomon's um, assistance at Norfolk State and the Virginia Beach Art Gallery who jurors the work, we developed the idea and then we turned it into this wonderful second year event. And it's a wonderful opportunity for the students to not only gain experience but also for our residents to see life from their perspective. Yeah for sure just to be able to go and witness what our students students are doing here uh, through this display is fantastic. Solomon I gotta ask you know of course you have a few universities participating why did Norfolk State decide to get involved? Well Norfolk State has a unique art program we are community oriented the program allows students to go into the community and work with individuals corporate entities and the community at large so it was natural for us. This was a match make it made in heaven. Love that. And we were talking about that partnership just between Norfolk State and, and of course just the event in general. Can you tell us more about how this came to be for the second year? Well, of course their support helped, but it's really about um, our residents as well as Westminster Canterbury overall just loves the idea of being able to honor our young people but also I go back to again about looking at life from different perspective. Mm -hmm. We have so many years of history from our residents and so many new ideas coming from the young students mm -hmm. that it's, it's an opportunity to have conversations about diversity and a need for inclusion and how do we help make that happen. So it was a wonderful way to look at a young people's perspective, our life exper expect, uh, experiences, <laughs> thank you Solomon, yes, yes, and how do we bring it all together. And, and I love the fact that the students benefit so much from this. I understand they get scholarships, they, they do. can sell their paintings, so talk about that benefit to the students as well. Sure. You want to so, go? Let yeah. me take that. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. Great yeah. partner. Yeah, exactly. So, so this is a juried exhibition, hmm. which means that you know, students get to prepare their works, they fill out the necessary paperwork, and they submit. Um, it's totally different from what happens in my classroom where I give you an assignment and I grade the assignment. Mm -hmm. This gives the students the opportunity to learn to be professional in their practice as artists. That's one. Two, an opportunity to build their resume. If they apply for a job, if you have a couple of exhibitions under your belt, you look like you know what you're doing. Right. So, so it's a great opportunity for students to get ready for the job market. It also gives students this amazing scholarship. You know, the students yeah. walk away with prize money and sales. It's one thing to say, I like your work. It's another thing to say, I like your work with a check. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Amen. <laughs> that does it a lot better. Exactly. You know? It also gives the, pro uh, the program an opportunity to assess the students to see how ready they are. So we want to make sure that if they need a little extra training, a little development in a particular area, we can offer that before they leave us. We want to make sure when they leave, they're ready for success. They're ready for the yes. real world. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. And this is happening February 3rd at 10 a.m. there at Westminster Canterbury. Ellen, give us the website one more time for people to get more uh, info. WCBAY.com. If you need directions, you can call 757-496-1785. Um, and of course, you can also go on the website, click on events, and then RSVP through there as well. So it'll be our residents and the general public attending for the public exhibition. Fantastic. Thank Make you. sure you get out there, support our students, support our emerging artists. Ellen Solomon, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. We'll be right back.